Welcome, friends. It is I, Ursula Scarf, and it's time for the Short Smite Beginner Guide to Geb. This is the Earth we stand on. That is what this god is and represents. And he is a rock solid ally for you. He is a great support, and let's gonna talk about him right here. So this is a beginner guide, so what happens is we're going to talk about just generally how Geb works, about his abilities, tips and combos for him, the idea on how you want to build him, just how to play him, and that should be enough for beginners to get comfortable with Geb, and then they'll figure out better things with him on their own as they play him even more. Expert and, and advanced players, there's nothing you shouldn't know here. If there is something, then yay, you learn something. And if there's anything you feel like I should have elaborated on, you can say that in the comments to help out players. The more information they have, the better it'll be for everyone in general going forward. So let's get going. Geb's abilities. First up is his passive Heart as Rock. What happens here is crit damage only does 25% more damage to Geb, but does 100% more damage normally. So Geb is just able to deal with gods who like to use crit. His first ability is Rollout. This is a rolling ability that deals damage and slows the first god it hits. If you're still rolling after 3 seconds, you become CC immune, and if you hit a god, you knock them back. So it's great for setups. Also for escaping because of CC immunity. His second ability is Shockwave. What happens here is it's a cone attack that decreases in damage over distance, so if they're next to you, it's really hard hitting. If they're further away, it doesn't hit as much. It also knocks up the targets they get hit. Third ability is Stone Shield. This is a shield that you can aim at yourself or at teammates, and it cleanses anyone uh, that you put it on. So if someone gets stunned, you can cleanse the stun on them, and then they have extra HP on them from the shield for a duration. And finally, is the ultimate Cataclysm. This is a big AoE around Geb that does percentage damage and stuns. This can be really good for just setting up any teams are interrupting an enemy team if they're trying to get a kill on somebody. Class and Roles Geb is a Guardian, which means he's capable of taking a lot of punishment, and he's very annoying with a lot of CC and surprising amounts of damage. Geb is able to put gods in bad situations with his rollout, interrupt teams with Shockwave and Cataclysm, save teammates with Stone Shield, and laugh at ADCs as they try to do damage to him with their crits. It's really nice. Now for Roles, it is support for the beginner. That's just straight up right there. Geb is one of the best supports in the game. He's capable of doing some damage. He's capable of taking a lot of damage as well. His great strength, of course, is being able to save lives with his shield. He can get people out of extremely bad situations and be very annoying with his other abilities. Like I said before, he can interrupt or set up using his rollout, his shockwave, and his cataclysm, and he can also just save lives with stone shield. He's just incredibly annoying. In laning phase, you can be a little aggressive, you can be a little turtly because of the stone shield and his abilities to interrupt. In team fighting phase, you're just annoying all game. You will make the enemy team want to kill you first, and it's not going to be easy to do, because crits don't do that much damage to you, so you can focus on making hunters really mad, but staying away from magical gods so you don't crumble. Tips and combos. First up has got to be with Geb's passive. When ADCs build crit, you should become a human shield as much as possible. This is something you do already as a guardian, but even more so when you're Geb. When an enemy has crit, just get in the way. You do that, and they're going to be really annoyed with you. Another tip is rollout is useful for quick rotations. You can get from one lane to another very quickly thanks to rollout, which makes you really annoying when it comes to just being a great support. And then another is roll out into walls. So what happens is you can roll into a wall and then go around the wall so that you get your knock up sooner and then just knock someone up if you have to go a shorter distance for it. That way you don't have to worry about wind up going around. Another is you can end roll out early using your right click. That way you can roll over to somewhere and then right click so you don't have to just use damage for it. And then you can use your shield or shockwave, whatever you need to do to do at that moment. And then there is... Shockwave and Cataclysm are just great for interrupting or setting up enemy gods. I've said this before, you can just set up really nice with the knockup and the stun on these abilities to an entire team if you want, and it's just really annoying. And lastly, Stone Shield is useful as a means of saving lives, of course, because the cleanse and the shield on it, but also in giving teammates a shield to be aggressive. So you can give this to a front line, they can be even more aggressive, be very annoying, and then they don't get killed in that way. Especially if you've got low cooldowns, so you can use your shield more often. Now when it comes to combos, it's 1-2-4, 4-2-1, and this is really just to be annoying. 1-2-4 is you're rolling in, knock back the enemy god, put them in a bad spot, stall them with shockwave, stall them even more with cataclysm, and hopefully a teammate comes over and kills them, or they're low enough you do it yourself. The other one is cataclysm, a group of gods with 4-2-1, shockwave them to stall them even longer, then roll out to slow them down, or to escape from there, depending on what you want to do in that situation. It's really, your goal is to stall the enemy, not kill them, but you can kill them if you have to. Purchases for Geb. And really, it is just build a support meta. Whatever the heck it is right now, for support, build it. It'll work out for Geb pretty well there. The only thing you might want to consider is substituting cooldown reduction in there so you can do your shield more often, be annoying more often. That's about it. When it comes to actives, though, blink. Blink is kind of a requirement for Geb. It doesn't have to be, but it pretty much is because you can do, be a mobile surprise ultimate with that. It's just great. Other actives that are good with Geb are just the team-based ones. Just the big AoE actives could be very useful. In conclusion... 
Gab is one of the most annoying gods in the game. He's a rock solid support that is capable of interrupting a lot of enemy gods and setting up large numbers of them with his ultimate and shockwave, or even knocking one of them back with his rollout. He's just able to do a lot of stuff so teammates can pound them into the ground. Also, thanks to his shield, he's able to just save teammates from an early grave. Learning how to control your opponents and win to use shield will make a mountain of a difference between a good Geb and an okay Geb. There you go right there. Make the enemy team crumble and you'll do really well with him just by being annoying as much as possible. As always, you should share this guide with anyone you can so more people understand how Geb works so they can learn how to play him and maybe learn against him. The more people learn the game, the better it'll be for everyone because just everyone's just better at the game in general. Up next is going to be the Guan Yu guide, which should be a lot of fun there. He's a great god to play and that'll be great. That right there is the guy I had fun making. I hope you had fun watching it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun, thanks for coming by, and see you next time.